pandas bar plot. So bar plots are used when you have categories of items and you wanna show their values on a Y axis via a bar or simply just a rectangle. Now let's take a look at a few of these that we can pull directly from our pandas data frame. First thing that I'll do is I will import pandas as PD and then I'm gonna create a data frame. Now this data frame is gonna have three columns one is going to be uh, names. So these are restaurants in San Francisco. I have the names of the restaurants in San Francisco. I have the number of customers that went to that restaurant. And then I have the average bill for that restaurant. First thing that I'll do is I want to create a bar, uh, a bar plot. And what I want to see is I want to see the average bill per restaurant. And so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to call right on my data frame. I'm going to call, call plot dot bar and then I'm going to pass the name of the column that is going to be my X axis. Now, these are the labels that I want to use and how I want to separate the bars. And then the Y in this case is going to be the average bill. So the higher the average bill, the higher the bar plot. I'm also going to pass an extra parameter here. That's uh, ROT, ROT, which is short for rotation. And here I'm basically saying, hey, don't rotate my X labels. And so they come out flat. Go ahead and run this. And as you can see, I've created a bar chart with the Y being the average bill, the X with the labels of the restaurant names, Foreign Cinema, Liho, Liho, et cetera, and a legend here that says, that, yep, this is the average bill. Now, say that I wanted to compare two things together. And so what I, what I do wanna do is I wanna see the average bill next to the average customers. And so there's two ways I could do this. I could go ahead and pass a, uh, a list of items and say, and say, have a list right here and say, um, what's it called? Num customers. Num customers. I could go ahead and do this. But what's also interesting is that Pandas is smart enough to know that if we only have three columns and one of them is our X, then we actually don't need to pass anything. And it'll assume that we want to group the other two items together, which is great. So now we get number of customers and we get average bill. This is called a grouped bar plot because these two bars are grouped together. Now, another way to group bar plots together is via a stacked bar plot. And a stacked bar plot is kind of what it sounds like. It's when they're stacked on top of each other, your groups. And the way that you do this is you specify stacked equals true. And when you get this, it will stack the bar charts or the bars on top of each other per groups that you did. And that's a stacked bar chart. Now, the other thing that's cool about bar charts um, within pandas and really just pandas plotting in general is there are a ton of other parameters outside of the um, ones specific to bar plots that you can pass. And so with the general pandas, oops, with the general pandas plotting functionality, you can do a ton of other um, parameters here. So again, I'll pass the X equals name, which is what we did above. I will do the rotation equals zero, which makes sure that these are flat instead of vertical. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little fancy and I'm actually gonna specify a color for my different bar charts or my different bars. I'm gonna make the fig size uh, 10, four, which is gonna be bigger than the default of what we have right here. This is just making the, uh, the uh, plot a little bit bigger. I'm gonna specify a title, which will go on the top, an X label, a Y label, and then I'm gonna change the font size, which is gonna be make my uh, ticks, which is the, um, which is the labels on the X and Y axis a little bit bigger. Go ahead and run this. And as you can see, I've shaped my bar plot, I've added a title, I've specified the colors, and I put an X and Y axis. So that is Panda's bar plot.